If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to Downfall Network for more cool content. What's up, everyone? Thralls Metal here once again. I am the Croc Nick. I am Jam and John. I'm Rin. And we have an album review for you. Yet another one that came out on the 25th of September was the newest album from Lick, Misanthropic Breed. It's not Lick, L I C K, it's Swedish Lick. Yes, L I K. There's umlauts and the, the Fjorn yeah. and. Viking hammers. But actually, it means corpse or corpses. So it's both singular and plural. So, way to. Multitask on that word. This band formed in 2014 in Stockholm, and this is their third full length. And despite them only being around since 2014, these guys have been in a lot of bands. Yes. I was looking over, and I'm not going to mention all the bands because I think both guitarists have been in 13 different bands. <laughs> so, where to stay busy? Road Warriors. <laughs> so, in this band, overall, we have members and former members of Witchery, Catatonia, and some live members that have played with Bloodbath. And if you love, well, two of these bands, specifically Witchery and Bloodbath, you're going to love Lick. This is about as Swedish as it gets. Yes. I said they were from Stockholm. They sound like they are from Stockholm. And this album somehow was pretty much spiritually made in 1990, but in 2020. Because this is everything you love about Dismember, Entombed, Bloodbath. It's just disgustingly heavy and pulls not a single punch no opening track the weird horror movie samples into thrashy buzzsaw galloping yeah. thrashy yep. nastiness nastiness it's just <laughs> just a woo. perfect opener for this <laughs> very it, loud yeah just straight punch in the face and all these songs actually yeah. are punch in the face the first two are pretty much just the thrashiest, gnarliest tracks on here, up until you get to the next thrashy, gnarly tracks, which come a little bit later. Decay <laughs> also has a very distinct thrash sound, but it also brings in sort of the at the gates kind of riff in yep. there. And while these guys are from Stockholm, I checked, they have definitely visited Gothenburg, maybe hung out there a couple times, maybe palled around with Dark Tranquility, because there's some similar riffs, as yeah. pummeling as a lot of this music is, there's always some sort of distinct melodic hook. Of course, buried in the most aggressive buzzsaw tone I may have heard this year. Everything is louder than everything else except for the vocals. But he does cough up blood at the end. He does cough <clears throat> up blood. There's blood bubbles. Definitely. And a lot of, <clears throat> ah. <laughs> that's just, you know. That's punctuation, pretty much. Like, that's how, like, yeah, they'll yeah. open a song and close it. Just like that last, <clears throat> period, <clears throat> done. Yeah, period. We're done. That's, they're just pretty much Swedish sentences all about violence and corpses and a it's weird like, dark humor. It's like if the Swedish chef sang for both of them. Except, and you know, he had less, laryngitis. And laryngitis. Yep, laryngitis. Or he was and, dying and they just, you yeah. know, pumped Satan into his corpse and let him talk. Yeah. It's that sort of heavy. Yes, and they, and they licked him. They licked him and he was a lick. Yes. Yes. Oh. Lickception. Wow. That's what that is. <laughs> oh my god. Lichtenstein. No. You gotta go. <laughs> now, while a good chunk of this album is fast, aggressive, in your face, you do get some groovy stompers on here. Ooh. I was a little apprehensive about this album at first. It was just fast and loud, and which is cool, but it was like, okay, you're fast and you're loud. Sweet. Funeral Anthem, uh, mid-tempo. There was a little bit of a bass solo kind of in there evil, melodic, heavy. The singer's blowing out his throat. He's not <laughs> singing <laughs> healthy. It's not a death growl, it's just a a shout with a little <clears throat> bit of gurgle. A gurgly shout. A wet, slicked with blood, gurgly shout. A little bit of phlegm, just it, for chunkiness. Yes, well, yeah, you, you, yeah, want, yeah. you want consistency. Yeah, it's correct, just, correct. You gotta add that in. And then we get what I think is quite possibly the best track on the album. Yes. Female, Fatal to the Flesh. I love the play on words. I, I do too. Lord Angel 2. I do too. Yep. Jesus. Yep. It was my hope that this song would be as brutal as Formulas, Fatal to the Flesh. It's a different it, kind of brutal, but it, it is. is brutal. It starts out like an escalating domestic dispute. 
pretty much. Just drum, 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 drum. And then yep. you were introduced to the heaviest yep. riff there is on yep. this album, at least. I think so. the other albums. Yeah, well, some other ones. Yeah. Giant, yeah. giant, giant, brutal, chuggy. Ugh. Christ on a cracker. Yeah, it's blood and eyes and teeth everywhere. Yep. This riff would hurt lesser men, I, and we aren't lesser men. Uh, or I, some of us aren't. I, I, <laughs> I don't want to be in the pit. No. During this no. thing. It would be a, just a torrent of corpses and limbs and blood and chains teeth. and spikes and what? leather bits. And I feel like this song gets progressively heavier as you go through the song, all the way from the start to the finish. Just. Keeps coming. It is escalating domestic violence. And it Pretty has these tiny. little cool samples in there. Like, there's horror movie samples kind of just pockmarked in here. They don't, they're not, like, overbearing. They're not in there too damn much. And you can't really make out exactly what's happening in but the samples. Cool. But it's creepy. Yeah. Yep. Makes you kind of, what the... The sample on this particular song, it just sounds like someone confessing to a crime, but it's kind of buried in the mix. You're really not sure what she's confessing to because the guitars are pummeling you, and then it's this really cool kind of off time breakdown and my god just yeah. the the tremolo on it is so catchy and again that's a thing these guys excel at being brutal as hell but being catchy like there are earworms aplenty on this yeah dude there's hooks all over this record and you wouldn't think there would be because predominantly these songs are all pretty short yeah uh, there's two songs that are one's four and some change and one's five and some change but mostly they're anywhere from two and a half to three minute bangers. So I just want to say something about the song Morbid Fascination. I think they're getting sued by John Carpenter. They are. It's about two notes shy of being the Halloween theme. It's close. It's, Might have yep. been from Christine? It, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Prince of Darkness, perhaps? Prince of Darkness? Uh, literally anything John Carpenter's ever done musically. Which, when he touches a lot. keyboard, it's yeah. just magic and people copy it. Or do, sample do, it. Do, 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 do. It's different. Not same and, thing. And then ding, I, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> not same thing. <laughs> not, not at all. And then I just want to point out the breakdown in the song Wolves. So when John Wolves. Carpenter sues the band, yes. uh, they go out with barbed wire tennis rackets and they smack tourists in the scrotum with it. That's true. That's the breakdown and in And then wolves. they feed them Woo. to the wolves. Yes. I mean, yep. it's recycling. Yeah. That's yeah. Swedish yeah. recycling. Yeah. And they like tennis, I think. They might. I don't know. Wolves has a halftime murder section that's just... Yep. Gnarly. Ugh. Yep. Yep. Gross. Beautiful. <laughs> that's that's all I heard there. <laughs> <laughs> that was touching. It is. I feel much like oh. Natalie Portman's hair. <laughs> we love Natalie Portman's hair. <laughs> love pretty it. Much, pretty much the rest of it. It too. glistens in the sun. Another absolute banger in here, and one I was reasonably sure once I got going, this would be one for Ren. Faces of Death. Not necessarily a reference to the movie series, which is 90% fake. It's whatever. Broke my heart. Yeah, me too, because it, it broke me as a kid watching it, and the, then... Dr. Grossenberg. Yeah. He's probably not even a doctor. Mm, he's is not. It? Dude, it's, I, he, he's fake. VHS malpractice right there. Ruined it. This actually has kind of a hardcore DB feel. Like, it is almost straightforward... D beat, mm -hmm. super aggressive, which is pretty much the overall feel anyway, but a different kind of aggressive. It's just kind of that punk energy, even the chord progression is definitely more of a punk feel. And the punk sort of aesthetic is all over this because they really don't bother very much with actual solos. Well, you get lead melodies. Right, and it's a little punky to give the illusion that your face might not be put to death, but... Oh, it was. But the face is dead. They're, they're, D beat through the eyes with the drumsticks. The men eaten by wolves. Yeah, recycling. Yeah, good. Yeah. Crazy. But when it comes down to those, you know, lead melodies and such and solos, apparently they saved it all for the last track, Becoming, because not only does this bring the tempo back down to more of that flat out kind of just groovy, you know, kind of slower tempo, has a nice thrashy section, but then all of a sudden towards the end, they realized, yeah, we didn't throw enough lead melodies or solos. So the entire back end of it is this beautiful lead melody oh into a God. flat yeah. out, yep. just gorgeous yeah. yep. solo. Yep. It yep. really yep. is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then back into that lead melody to close it out. Yep. And the melodies they use are, you know, not specifically, oh, that's kind of tuneful and catchy and pretty. Yeah. It's creepy. Cre very haunting. Yeah. And yes. it fits with the overall grimy feel of this album, which. Dirty. The production, well, 
I like it. Yeah, I love it. I love. I love it. Over the top I, stuff like this reminds yeah. me a lot of like rotten sound in terms of their over the top kind of Swedish death metal, but mostly grindcore sound and you know early dismember. It's just gritty and in your face. The guitars are exceptionally loud. Very yeah, loud. dude, it's just. Very like, yeah. I, I personally loved it from the beginning. Just I, I, the second I heard that guitar tone, I was like, oh, dude, this is love. Oh, dude. <laughs> I didn't like it at first. <laughs> they just turned everything up all the way and Damn it. redlined it. Okay, you're really loud and you don't know much about tone. That's cool, you're Swedish. Not all of us can be perfect. <laughs> you have great meatballs though. Great meatballs, a nice cream gravy on noodles. This album grew on me though. Uh, by the third song, uh, yeah, Funeral Anthem, I was like, oh, okay. Yep. And then I, I I got into it more, and by the end of it, by the minute and a half solo at the end of Becoming, I I, I enjoyed it. Overall, I definitely enjoyed it. I mean, if you can just kind of feel the excitement that's coming off of me about talking about this album, Very I excited. love oh, wow. Swedish death metal. And it's Too much radiant. excitement. Very excited. Wow. Holy shit. I'm going to go ahead and give this one four and a half stars. Mm -hmm. Really, this is all killer, no filler for me. They don't waste any time. Mm -hmm. The title track is just a cool little interlude, but it leads beautifully into the next song. So this is just pretty much no wasted momentum. They yeah. just keep it throughout. It's nice and varied. It doesn't just labor like, oh, we're the fast, thrashy bands. Like, no, we have like groovy sections. There's melody. There's fucking brutality left and right. If you love death metal, there's a good chance you'll love this. If you love Swedish death metal, you probably already own a copy. And I'm envious because I still haven't got mine. Yeah, me either. Definitely get this one. It's a banger. I loved it. I won't provide much contrast here. I also loved the shit out of this album. From start to finish, every song is pummeling. There, there's no filler. There's hardly any intros on any songs. It's just immediate punch. And it, Horror movie samples and then get to it. Yeah, dude. And I... You know, I also like the tone. Again, from the moment the record started, I just said, ugh. <laughs> and then stuff like Female Fatal to the Flesh, I started that track immediately. Like, the moment it started, I was like, oh, that's good. I like the fact that the guitar solos up until the final song are used sparingly, but they allude to the fact that the guitarist might actually be able to really do a nasty lead. Because while they're short, they're all tasty. Yeah. The, every solo is tasty, and it fits the mode of, you know, being punched in the balls a hundred times. But then you get to it's that excessive. end. But then you get to becoming, which, by the way, is not Pantera. It's. Uh, it's not the becoming. It's God not size. becoming God's. It's becoming Satan size. Satan size. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that last song is such a banger, and that solo is so beautiful, and like, all of these songs are just crazy. I can't wait to jam this again. In fact, we immediately after we got done with it, we went outside to smoke and jammed Female Fatal of the Flesh again because it was so badass. So it's good too. Yeah, guys, four and a half stars. Good fucking job. So at first I didn't really like it, but as it played on, I liked it a little more and more and more and more. And by the end, I said, I like it. And I, I did enjoy it. It's loud. It's aggressive. It's, uh... You don't want to put this on before laying down to have a, a sleepy time. Oh, I got another record for you to jam, this is, then. This is <laughs> not a record to make love to. Well, I mean, no. It'll be over quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bite it! Oh. <laughs> So these Swedes kick some dick, and I'm gonna give them a three and a half for kicking dicks. And I'll probably listen to this some more. Females fatal to the flesh. <coughs> Puking in the microphone. Dude, well, he pukes his intestines up in the rain. Blood bubbles. The you can hear the blood survival. bubbles. Oh yeah. So if you enjoyed the review. Give it a thumbs up, and if you are new to the channel, subscribe because we do stuff like this all, all the time. time. We will catch you later.